So in this video, we're going to show you our annual Notorious Needle Whip Parade. Yay! Oh boy! <laughs> Hi there. there! Welcome to the Notorious Needle. I'm Sarah. I'm the designer. I'm Bridget. I'm her mom. <laughs> and on this channel we talk about cross-stitch. Yup. Some of it's not safe for work or yeah. little ears. Um, I think this one's gonna be okay though. Yeah, I don't think we have any... I don't any... have any sweary cross-stitch for you. No, I think I think it's all pretty uh, G-rated at this point. And some of it is... Um, sometimes we stitch um, <sighs> words. Bad words. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm having a hard time finding words. Oh. Sometimes we stitch things about um, current events from a liberal perspective. They could be political. You've been, you've been warned. You've been warned. Uh, okay, so in this video, we're going to show you our annual Notorious Needle Whip Parade. Yay! Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have hundreds of whips like no. other stitchers, so no. as you can already see. It's probably going to be a short video. A short video, yeah. <laughs> Um, how about we kind of go like back and forth? I think that's a good idea. All right. You have more than I do, so you should I do? start. I do? Oh, yeah. really? Oh, I you have, surprise Because you me? have more finishes. Because I finish my whips. You finish your whips. Right. I, I do not. All no. right. So this first whip is called Enchanted Pumpkin by Mill Hill. And this is what it looks like finished. Someday. Someday. Maybe. <laughs> Someday. With with seed beads. With Yes. This yes. is... This is Supposed to be stitched on perforated paper. Here, take your face out of the video. There we go. There, now it's focused. There we go. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, hmm. maybe not. Um, okay. This this was a kit uh, that um, comes with perforated paper, but I chose to stitch it on this bright, bright, bright orange fabric that I got from um, the Steel City Stitchers. What's her name? They're one of the Steel City Stitchers dyes fabric, and that's who I bought it from. I forget her name. And I got it at StitchCon, so this was a StitchCon buy. But this is all I've done. Yeah, which I think you like, did Like, I don't even know StitchCon. if that's up. Is but that, I, I'm doing the beads as I go. Is that right side up or upside down? I'm not even sure. I think that's one side of the pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, if so. you hold it up, Maybe it's right? this way. I think... Wait, I was holding it up so they oh. could see. I think it's like this, this no, side No, no, I pumpkin. always start in the middle. Oh, you're in the middle? Yeah. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> Move I, on. I don't know. Anyway, so that's 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 whip number one. All right, Bridget, your turn. Well, my whips are in um, a little more advanced stage than yours. Well, that was just my first one. Okay, I'm just saying. So this one I did not work on all month, but um, this is the... A messy office is a sign of character. You should see the character who works here. And it is uh, Capel Originals Limited. And I also got this on StitchCon, but I got it off the freebie table. <laughs> this was somebody's kit that they decided not to do. And I thought it would just be cute because I have a couple of sisters who work from home. And they may end up with these at some point in the future. That's very cute. <laughs> okay, my next whip is... Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. And this one you've gotten pretty far. This on. one I've stitched a lot. Oops. Yes. Upside down. This one you can tell. Which How way can is you up. tell is upside down? So um, this is on 25 Count Lugana, uh, Ivory by Zweigart. I'm stitching one over one in my own colorway. And I've added some motifs. Um, this is what the pattern looks like when it's finished. Well, this is what the, the cover page looks like. And it's 25 different pages. There we go. I need to cover our faces and then it focuses. There right. we go. Um, is it 20? It's, I think it's 20. It's a lot of pages. It's a lot. Let's see. It's 20. Ah. Um, I, and I don't go page by page. I go motif by motif. So I changed this skull. I added this skull right here. And then I added this... Um, B right here. So the skull is for the pandemic. Oh, so this is this is this came out like right before 2020. So right before the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is for the pandemic, and this is for the murder hornets. Even though they weren't bees, they were hornets. <laughs> and then um, I didn't change anything in this area here with the flowers. That's where I started. That's the center. Uh, but I did change this motif over here. Can you hold the other side? Sure. Thank you. 
I did change this. This is uh, the capital. This says it's technically 2021. Um, it says January 6, 2021. Um, but that's to um, commemorate the worst day in American history mm, so far, um, aside from the Civil War. So, yeah. And then up here is RBG for Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who died in 2020. And then this number 24 is for um, Kobe Bryant, who also passed away in 2020 with his daughter in a helicopter crash. And there's probably more um, stuff to come as far as things that you've added. or. Oh, yes. There's yeah. a lot more. More motifs. That's like, what I meant. Um, my husband and I got married in, um, in 2020, so I'm going to uh, add a little something for that. Yep. There so too. the year wasn't a total disaster. No, 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 good things come, you know, we're still here. We are. We made it. So that's whip number two. All right, your turn, Mom. Okay, let's see. So for my whip number two, I'm also going to drag out somebody you haven't seen in a while, my Yggdrasil. And uh, this is what I've got on it so far. And I'm doing my own colors, and I'm here using the variegated, and it's really kind of cute. And you had the pattern up earlier oh do you it's by um two by two stitch which is like two x two stitch is how they put it on there and um when it is finished it won't look like that because <laughs> i don't think i'm going to do all the frames um i think i'm just going to do maybe the inside frame but that's what the tree is going to look like and i'm using variegated and i have i'm going to use ver i've used variegated brown for the trunk variegated green for the top, and then I'm going to add some more variegated stuff. My Yggdrasil got eaten by the dog, so I'm going to start over. Yeah, because I like it a lot, so I'm going to restitch it. So, well, this is why I wanted to alternate, so, like, we could have it set up ahead of time, but you oh, messed sorry. me up. I did mess you up. You did. Okay, so next I'm, sti I'm stitching Here Right Matters. This is a notorious needle pattern. It says, this is America, here right matters. And this is a quote from Colonel Vidman's testimony during the first Trump impeachment trial, where he was, uh, his father was worried for his safety because they came from Ukraine, which um, this was before. Uh, Ukraine or Russia? No, they're from Ukraine. Oh, really? okay. But I think his father was from Russia or they okay. lived in Russia for a yeah. while. And his father was really worried about mm -hmm. um, him standing up to. Do you mind? So I was going to show it. Him standing up to the authorities. Um, and he told his dad, don't worry, dad, I'm going to be OK. This is America and here right matters. So now this is what I've stitched so far. I'm almost done. I'm stitching this. Um, in the called for colors on 14 count white Ada. Boring fabric, but you know, the pattern stands for itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can go. I was gonna just hold it up while you were talking so they could see it. Oh, well, I'm boring. I wanted to talk first. Oh, all right. What else did I need to get to? Oh yeah, okay. So this is still a whip because I haven't pulled all the stuff out of it yet, but I have just, oops, just about finished it. And this is a pattern by the Bee College, I'm sorry, the Bee Cottage, <laughs> I said college, the Bee Cottage, and the pattern is the beekeeper designed by Sandra Cox, Venus Dal, and I'm probably saying that wrong because it didn't come with a... Oh, zoom in, you can't see it. Here, let me... Can you, do you know how to zoom in? I, you just... Whoop. You can probably... Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just going to show them the whole, the whole thing. So that's... And that's actually what it does look like because... As you can see, I am mostly done, and I need to take out the waste take out the canvas. waste canvas, yeah. um, and take off the basting, and you know, press it and all of that stuff. So it's almost it's still a whip because the waste canvas is it's still there. Nearly done. Nearly done. I said nearly dead. You know, like from um, the Princess Bride, because I'm a <laughs> dork. So. Uh, my next whip is Elegant Pumpkins. This is from the, I think it's the October 2011 Just Cross Stitch magazine. I think it's Just Cross Stitch. Um, and the designer is Marie Barber. So this is what it looks like finished. Or what it's going to look like. And it will too because it's really pretty. It is really pretty. It's, it is coming together. Oh yeah, I wrote it down. It is Just Cross Stitch. 
Um, and I'm stitching in the called four colors on Edin 36 now? count Edinburgh linen called Winter Moon by Zweigart. And they actually look like pumpkins now. They do. They're starting to look like pumpkins. It's starting I have to look real pretty. One more pumpkin to do, and then the table and all, almost all the backstitch. I backstitched this bow, this little pretty purple bow. Yes, it makes it pop. And then uh, there's beading too, I think. Yeah. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that don't like backstitch, but I think backstitch makes everything really pop. It's, it's, you know, it can be a slog, but like it really helps everything come together. So. I think it does. Yeah. Okay. So here's, here's my next whip, the perennial favorite. Yay. Father <laughs> Actually, son. I've only been working on it this year, so I shouldn't say oh, okay. perennial. Right. Because I finished Mother Moon earlier this year. And so here's, here's my father's son. And this is a design in the um, uh, Bewitching Stitchery book oh, by yeah. Joan Elliott. And I'm almost done with him. I still have some stuff to do over here. And then and then the outline and then the beading. Is there a border? There is a border. Are, I have, you, are see, you stitching the border? See the top here? I started. Oh, I see. I just started the border. Mm -hmm. The border's going to go all the way around. It's two lines. And then there's lots of swirls. And it's more metallic thread in the border. So okay. we are going to have some fun with that. Okay, so my longest whip is Dragonfly Fairy by Jeanette Cruz Designs. And here's the booklet cover. She is gorgeous, and I do like stitching her. I just stitch Haven't. other things. How many years have you been working on that one? Since, like, the 90s. It is your longest I started, whip. Well, I did, um, I did do Drop Fairy already. Right. So Dragonfly Fairy is the second one in the series, and then the last one, the third one, is the Spiderweb Fairy. Which you'll probably do after you retire. I'll do in 30 years. So I do have the middle part done. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the Dragonfly Fairy. She's and there's a stain pretty. up here that I, I'm hoping will be hidden behind a, a frame. But I want to get them all done to, and then frame together. I don't want to frame them as I go. And then I have um, here, you want to hold up one of the sure. pieces? I finished one side. I just got to finish the other side. So this is the one that's done. Oh, here. We got the wrong side here. Okay. <laughs> and that's the back. Here's the front. Oh. So there we go. So I just got to finish this dragonfly, and then the dragonfly fairy will be done, and I can move on to the um, spiderweb fairy. This is on ivory 14 count Ada, just like your generic mm -hmm. DMC Charles Craft brand. Yeah, mine, I've been on pretty much the generic and 14 count, you know, Ada. Because <laughs> I finished all the ones that were on special stuff. Uh, and then here's my, whoops, my Snowflake Santa, who is coming along really nicely. And all of these are the finished ones over here. And all of these over here haven't been started yet. So this is going to be a table runner all the way across my dining room table with 10 Santas. I've worked, he's number four, um, the Snowflake Santa. And he'll have a little snowflake. This is a Sue Hillis design. This is on 14 count and it, I think it's Monk's Cloth. Um, and I had bought like a gazillion yards of it a long time ago. And so I just cut off pieces I need as I go along. Um, I was going to ask you something. Oh, are you going to continue to stitch on that after the holidays are over? Of course. Oh, okay. I need. I want to finish it by next year. Next year. Oh. I, I, See, I, I you promised... heard it here first, folks. Wise ass. <laughs> I just know how difficult that would be for me. So. I promised my husband that I would not try to finish it this year. Oh, no. Well, I might have. Oh, no. But he said to me, you're not going to try and finish it this year, right? Oh, and I said, stressful. no, 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 that would be too stressful. Yeah. And he said, oh, thank you. Because, you know, who's the brunt of that stress would probably be. Yeah. Him. So You'd be um, a cranky bitch. Oh, no kidding. Worse than normal. We did tell you NSFW, right? <laughs> yeah. But, no, I'm going to – I have ten Santas, so I have four of them – well, three are completely finished. This one is really, really close, well, really close to being finished. And then I could finish this one this week. More. And then I have six more to do. So I know if I did four in, when did I start this? September? Yeah. Yeah. You run, one a month. So, Which... yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Just so curious. I will totally have it finished by next year. I can totally see that I would have that done. Unless something else that comes up that it, just you like captures better? me that I have to finish, but I really love Santas. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be Christmas for me yeah. to love Santas. 
has nothing to do with it. It's just the whole, I don't know, it's the whole idea of Santa, of giving, of being selfless. Love it. Uh, and this is my last whip. This is just a personal sampler, like in the traditional sense of the word where you're trying stuff out. So I've been trying out different metallic flosses. I forgot about this one. I did not forget. I just haven't worked on it in a while because <laughs> it's hard to do. So I'm trying out all different kinds of metallic flosses. I'm trying out DMC Light Effects, um, Krynic, and I think Sulky. Does Sulky do metallics? There was another brand I haven't started yet, but I, I did... Um, like this is the DMC, um, what you call it? The it's doll, one. the glittery one. Oh, and then it says um, this is this is diamond, this is diamond, this is diamond, this is um, light effects, this is light effects, and this is Krynic. So I'm doing a whole bunch, and then when I'm done, I'll let you know how it turned out, which ones I liked best. I did. I'm doing um, one strand, two strands, and blended one-to-one -one. so like hmm. this this one the the dmc like for instance the diamond d3821 so this this bottom gold right here d this is one strand of d3821 this is two strands and this is one strand of the d3821 and one strand of regular 3821 oh blended yeah oh is it easier to work with metallic when you blend it with a with a regular so far floss? it is Yep. Oh, so far it is. And, okay. and that's one of the things that I've discovered while I'm doing this sampler that um, when I'm done, I, I will, I will let all of you, I will share with everybody, you mm -hmm. know, how it, how it looks like, for instance, the Krynic, this is one strand. This is two strands. The one strand was a crap ton easier to stitch than two strands huh. because it comes on the spool and, and the, the ribbon has like a memory. So it's curly. Oh, yeah. And when you stitch with two, it's really hard to get them to lay right. But when you stitch with one, it's easier. Stuff like that. So I'm learning as I go. And you know what? It's not my favorite thing to stitch on. But Even when I'm, when I'm done, I will definitely share everything. Even though it kind of shows through a little bit when you only do it with one strand, I almost like the look better than the two strand. Well, this and this will give you yeah. an idea of like, you know, it, when you have to do metallic. Yeah, when you have to, if you like, if you like it with, you know, you, one strand versus two, and and you know, maybe if I take really good pictures, I might save you a little time, and you can decide. Oh, I like how that looks better. And right. Then you don't have to test stitch it because I already did. So that's the idea. Cool. Yeah, so that's my last whip. Was that like six? I told you. <laughs> don't have a lot of whips. <laughs> I just don't have enough time to stitch as, as much as I want because I still have, you know, other responsibilities. So. Well, I have five whips. If you count ones that I either well, stop stitching, I have a lot of finishes, yeah. But, I mean, if you count the whips that I stopped stitching on years ago and just put them in time out, there's at least three more in the Oh, well, there. Those, those count. You should have brought those. They don't count because I have, if I haven't stitched on it in at least two or three years, it's probably bound for the bin. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. Or I may or be giving them, them away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, that's it for today. I know. Fast, fast <laughs> video. You know, as far as whip parade there's really not a lot right i mean if you wanted to add on all the finishes i've done that you took pictures of and some of them you probably I, forgot to take pictures of yeah i did oh you got pictures no i forgot to take oh you pictures. forgot oh, yeah for sure yeah, yeah i'm yeah. terrible at that i am it's okay sorry it doesn't matter anyway we just wanted to do a really fun video for you yeah <laughs> And uh, wish you happy holidays and a happy new year. I think this is going to come out either the Friday before or like the Friday after Christmas. So it'll be around that time. We also celebrate Yule, so Merry Solstice. And if you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any other winter holiday, we wish you many, many blessings. Yes. Blessings of the season of light. And until next time, stitch, stitch on. on.